So hi there everyone, welcome back to another episode of my Car Mechanic Simulator series. My name's Leon, I'm the one looking after you. And in this one we are going to be, well we're back in the junkyard. Um, and I, trust me, I've been in a lot of junkyards this morning trying to find cars for recording. And I kept finding mostly ones we've either done or the in-game cars. So, it's taking a bit of an effort, but we found this one over here. doesn't look like much at the moment a lot of it's missing uh, but it is the Chevrolet Lumina stock car now it says this is the street car version um, this is by dead Bob again um, it's in a prolific modder for the car mechanics um, simulator series game um, he's got I think it works out five versions there's a default version road car version which I think this is what this is Two Hendrix Motorsports versions and a Richard Childress Racing version. Um, but, yeah, we will see what happened. He's also done something else which we're going to look at in a, later on in the episode. But this is the one we're going to go for. <coughs> oh, we can put some other engines in it. What have we got? V8 one carb OHV. We may have a look at some of the supercharged versions to give it some more oomph. Nice cheap, nice and cheap. Turn that to the garage. And I will follow and I will see you there very shortly. So yeah, here we are with it. It is in a bit of a sorry state. Body 1%. I don't think there's anything left for me to take off it. 39% frame. I mean, what parts are actually on this car? The engine cover. I'll take that off. Um, let's move it to the car wash. So yeah, I mean, this is supposedly, you know, as I said, the street car version. I don't, I don't think we're going to actually do it as a, as I said, a street car. I mean, this is probably one of the worst car conditions I've ever found in the game. I mean, parts 9%. Frame, we've taken one part off, but it's 1%. Interior at 50%. Let's move it over to ramp 1. Um, we only actually have technically have to put a steering wheel on the interior. Okay. Even though it says it's street car, it's not really what I'd say street car. Right, let's do the frame. Is the gearbox attached? It is. Right. So it tells us it's got V eight one eight V eight one carb OHV. So that's the one it's got in. It's a bit uh That's a bit more. A lot more. Or maybe one of these double overhead cam ones. Can we do a good DOHC supercharged? Yes, we can. Right, so we're going to go that way. Right, 
Right. Let me get this disassembled. You can, as in it while the music is playing, and then we'll get we'll rebuild the bodywork. We'll try and find do something nice with it. Reboot, I'm covered, my service automated, like data running through my veins. Got you distracted, subconscious overloaded. Careful, don't pull the cord on me. Yeah, apart from the bodywork, I said I put the new engine in. I've also coloured uh, the engine um, covers, head covers. And you may have noticed if you're the eagle eyed when I was doing it, if the wheels went on and they came off, it's because I didn't notice that the original wheels were actually chromed. I've had to take, to take the wheels off, chrome them. And I've also put a slightly thinner tyre on the front than the back. Just for steering purposes but not that i'm expecting too much for the next plan right let's go to 
Kia. Engine cover. Go on that one. We're going to go. Look at that one, that looks like it's got... Well, it looks like it's got a wing on it. That looks road car. stock car. Yep, now the wing. In. Oh, we still got Well, that's quite interesting. There's a car part you can't actually see. Can we see it from underneath, do you reckon? Yeah. The exhaust system. That's it now. It is. Right. Let's get it over to... Because I've done the fluids. Get it over to paint.
I want to see what the liveries are. I'll put on that a second. That's quite cool. I like that. Oh, you've got the Russ Wheeler car. That's the one from Days of Thunder. Actually, I just need to go back. What's the first drive up? Down a wall trip. If it said cold trickle, it would have been painted straight away. Dale Earnhardt. That does look cool. Nope. Lots of amazing things. French toast, I believe, has done the liveries again. Cold trickle. Oh, we're going to come back. It's going to be that one. Oh, do we do the red one? Oh, now we got the the mellow yellow one. Andy Burns. Right, it's going to be a cold trickle. Because I love the Days of Thunder film. See, that's the when he... Yeah, it's going to be that one. Oh, so much for memory. I think I have to go and watch the film after this. Um, right, we need to go to test path. Line up the wheels. Doing headlights because he hasn't got any. Um, curious though, will it think it does or not? It does. Now, this one, 
Oh, we've actually got to go... The dino. Uh, a contest we've got nearly two, uh, two thousand horsepower. How the heck have I got two thousand horsepower in this thing? It's mental. This thing's going to be a beast to drive. But I need to change the gearbox ratios. I'm using the the ratios that. that has been given with the mod but the problem is that they're not designed for this engine I don't think hmm <laughs> Right, let's have a look. just let's just actually we're probably going slightly more than that because I've got a custom gearbox. Which I'm sitting here and thinking, wait, if I don't hit start test. Got just over 1900 horsepower. Yeah, this car's gonna be slightly stupid. I am tempted to put a fifth gear in it. Well, I'll give it a, a go. Could end up horribly wrong, but... Right, the other thing I want to do is... This car was brought out to go with a map. Wait, it's in this. We have a Daytona International Speedway, and I've not tried this. So we're going to go and take our stock car to it, because it was designed to go with it. And again, this has also been done by Dead Bob, if I remember right, as well. So he brought the map out for Christmas, the car out for New Year. So, yeah. That's quite cool. Squirming as anything. Yeah. Not the circuit, but right, what we're going to do is press that, return to garage. Interesting track, we will come back to it again at a future point. Something a bit more controllable.
probably not not with 2000 horsepower so i think what we'll do is um we will take it to a speed track And see what this one does. So the record at the moment we've got is 489. I want to give it a little bit of a rolling start. Get that idea right, let's take it back. It is squirmy as anything this car. If we've got the gear ratios altered, because I, I think it would be a bit better. That's what's down to that one. Um, but yeah, me, amazing car mod. I love it. And I love the fact it's got the Days of Thunder. Um, pick images on it. That to me is brilliant. Well done. But to Dead Bob and French Toast for that one. I've just so many memories but I am going to be going watching Days of Thunder if you've liked it like, comment, subscribe all that jazz and come back and join us for another episode very very soon till then bye bye for now